Hi, everyone. My name's Terry Daniel, voice actor and coach from Minnesota. Um, I want to talk a little bit about pay-to-play sites out there. If you are a brand new voice actor, these pay-to-play sites, basically what they are is you, you spend money on an annual membership and they send auditions to your inbox. Now, it's not necessarily a bad way to get started, but a lot of these companies do a masterful job in marketing to you, the beginner, and manipulating you into believing that you can't make it in this business without them. This could not be further from the truth. In fact, in my opinion, if you work really hard at direct marketing, it's contacting the clients direct, production companies, uh, corporations with in-house studios that produce a lot of e-learning materials for their employees, you know, even medical companies and explainer video e-learning companies. Um, they're all waiting for your email and your call. So here's the scoop. Stop giving companies like Voices.com your money. You know, they're not only charging you an annual fee, but they're taking large percentages from jobs that you uh, could be booking from their site. Um, they're also, and this is something that has not been uh, kept as a secret in the voiceover business, but let's say you see a job opportunity on Voices.com and you'll notice the project budget for the talent Let's just say it's in the ballpark of $350 to $500. That is the budget for the talent. But then you go on a different pay-to-play site, or you see this job opportunity through a talent agent, and you'll notice the budget is nearly $1,000. Well, what happened to the rest of that money? You guessed it. It's going into the pockets of companies like Voices.com. So here is my advice to you if you're brand new to voiceovers first of all it's really important to get the training get as much coaching as you can you're going to need a professional demo or two demos are your calling cards you need a tool to market with and that is what the demo is for any talent agent in the country will tell you the same thing then once you have your demo completed you start emailing clients to set up consultations with the clients um, i never really use email to sell myself per se as much as i am trying to get the appointment with the prospective client i see a lot of people emailing producers and companies uh, various uh, would-be buyers these long-winded emails with all kinds of attachments to their demos don't, don't send your demos right away if the client wants you to email you the demo do that on the second email but again the main purpose of emailing a prospective client is to get a lot to get on a live call with them so I will usually just send them a short email and then I always end it with a question clients prospective clients will always feel more uh, propelled to answer the email if you end it with a question if you just let them off the hook like thanks have a nice day basically saying oh well I don't even have to get back to this person it's a strategy that worked for me back when I was in radio sales End all your emails with a question but again use the email to set up a meeting a very brief meeting you know would it be okay this would be a good way to end the email um, would you have time, let's say Thursday, one o'clock Central Standard Time, to meet with me for like 10 minutes? Question mark. There, there you have it. We're ending the email with a question mark. That is really where your primary focus should be. Uh, it doesn't hurt to get on a couple of talent agency rosters because talent agents are fantastic people to deal with they're gonna make sure that you get the rate that you deserve as a voice actor whether you're doing a commercial narration a promo gig a video game character you name it you know agents are great I, I don't want I'm not trying to put agents uh, in the same room as these pay-to-play sites because I just I do believe that you know these services like voices.com are just an absolute ripoff they're just they're they're pocketing way too much money and keeping so much cash from the talent so i think your focus should be on direct marketing it has worked for me for many many years 
In fact, I get a dozen brand new clients every year just by making LinkedIn connections. Use social media to market your business. That doesn't mean selling yourself per se in a post, but engage in conversations with producers, talent agents, somebody that owns an explainer video comment. They're always posting on LinkedIn. Engage in the conversation. Don't sell yourself. There's no reason to stick a link to your website in the comment thread, but just be a part of the conversation. The more times you do that, the more, you know, the more the client is going to notice you. And then eventually they send you a direct message. It happens to me all the time. All right. I hope this advice helps, you know, just like everything you read and hear on the internet and social media you always have to take everybody's advice with a grain of salt but just know that i've spent over 30 years in this business as a full-time voice actor and i've seen it all okay first of all if you like the content on my channel please subscribe and uh like the video that really helps push our content on on youtube because as, as you may know already, there's a lot of misleading information out there regarding the voiceover business and what you need to do and what gives you the best chance to succeed. So that helps us out quite a bit. Uh, if you're interested, by the way, in coaching with us and getting a couple demos professionally produced, go to uvtcoaching.com and we'll have a conversation. Uh, looking forward to it. My name's Terry Daniel, voice actor and coach from Minnesota. Talk to you soon, everybody. Have a great day.